Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. This morning I have a meeting with my boss for the first time since uni started. So I've just been up since 7 preparing for that. It's now almost 9 o'clock and the meeting's at half 9. So I'm now going to get ready and then off we go. Fun times, I'm now redundant, which I didn't expect today. I was only meant to work for a year and I worked for a year and then I did like four extra months and I was either going to lose my job in Easter or at Christmas and I'm actually quite glad because literally just last week I was like because I worked 10 hours a week last year but then this year I've been working four hours a week so I've got uni and just last week I was thinking I'm not really finding the time to fit this in I'm so lucky because every I've had a lot of jobs and I've never been upset about I've never quit a job but I always lose the job but this wasn't fired this was just like it was a 12 month contract we've done 16 months the end of the line because it was more like I was employed to do a certain thing and I've now finished that thing so there's no need for me to still be there every single time I've had a job and I've lost the job I've always been so ready to leave I loved the job but I was also like Meh. I'd rather like just chill and not have this responsibility I'm now redundant which is fab I am slightly I need the money but that's fine I'll find another job okay I'm in a much better mood now you may have thought the vlog felt like the last clip was kind of awkward and you probably thought that was because I just lost my job unexpectedly but actually it wasn't I was fine with that the reason I was awkward was because I had a COVID test waiting for me downstairs and I thought I had COVID because I had a bit of like a tight chest. It would have been 100% my fault because I went clubbing on Sunday. So I was really nervous because we have loads of plans for next week. Um, and I didn't want to say on the vlog because I feel like it's still a bit like stigma to say you've got COVID because then people are like, oh, it's your fault. But no, I don't have COVID, all is well. Except for she got fired. Yeah, they know that, you're uh, so mean. Yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, fun times. I'm so excited for the Christmas markets. Yay! We're off now to the Christmas market. Let's go. So I'm just waving a check. In my, I've got a check that I got for my birthday. I'm a major procrastinator, so it was about to expire, so I need to cash that in. We watched that hotel show again. Oh, should we guess? Oh, the price. Yeah, okay, so basically on this hotel show, they tell you what the highest price is, but yeah. they don't tell you. So it was for the Mashpee Resort in Ecuador, Ecuador. which was like this, this really shaky, this, this hotel in the cloud forest i'm gonna guess and we'll let you know you'll google it whilst we're driving yeah. and then we'll let you know so i'm gonna guess you can stay for 650 a night i'm guessing 320 actually do you think yeah for okay, one night yeah reese is gonna google it and we'll let you know reese is checking i'll leave you there so you can chat with him we're gonna get subway for lunch i have to drive everywhere because reese doesn't drive which is really not appropriate in a relationship. Hey ho, it's what you do. You make sacrifices. <laughs> She's got a cough. I have a cough, but I've tested for COVID and I don't have COVID. Isn't the Slade Christmas CD in the glove box? Maybe I'll have a look. It's so average is about 800. Oh, I So was... even more expensive, but you're yeah. closer. Third time, and every time I've been the closest, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. My car's really frustrating because it basically only does CDs or I bring in a speaker and play my own. Put that in. Okay, um, I think Aretha Franklin's in here already. We can't play any of it because it will be copyrighted. No, no, we're not going to play it. I'm going to end the vlog now. Sorry, lads. But um, don't want to reverse down this hill because that camera is falling. Can you end the vlog, please? Bye, vlog. <laughs> Currently trying to find a parking spot, which has never been more stressful. It's <laughs> so stressful. And then just then, I just had the most awkward moment with a pedestrian. Who you actually knew. Yeah, I think she was a few years below me in school. Are you going right here? No, I Because you should be going, going, go right. <laughs> don't want to go over the Tesco roundabout. No, you're not. So just go right here. I can't And do you this. won't be doing no, it. No, I'm really stressed. She's really stressed, everyone. So how's this experience of parking going, Meg? Fabulous. Any more words? Someone get me a parking space, please. We made it. That was the happiest drive of my life. She burst out crying for about 10 minutes because she couldn't get out of a junction. I've not driven in a while. Hands if they do. 
do the bell. bread and what was her face like Ugh. yeah and I was like uh, sorry for having allergies I she said, said oh god she said oh god she literally went oh god and I was <laughs> like okay and then I said uh, oh yeah then I got hash browns and she dropped one on the floor and didn't replace it so I didn't get a full portion and I was like okay cool and then she put one gherkin on when like, I said um could I have it warmed please meaning toasted but like she knew what I meant and she goes, do you mean toasted? And I was like, so you know what I mean, so just do it, don't make me look like a fool. She looked like she hated that job. Yeah, well she definitely hated, hated that job. I hated people. Yeah. I hated everything. The haul from the market, we got a box of Turkish Delight and a four gluten-free brownies of different flavours and we'll try them on the vlog later on. But um, do you know what's funny is like, I'm like all light-hearted and laughing about losing my job, but I actually am in my overdraft quite badly. So I'm in my overdraft and I still have to pay another rent before I get more money. So that's fun. That's great. I mean, I kind of needed the money, but that's fine. We're going to taste test one of the brownies, which is Black Forest. Not a fan. Me neither. I thought that was going to be really good. And, and it tastes like banana. Well. It does. Mm. Good lord. Mm. That was slimy. I'll probably give that to my dad. Now just taking Reese to work. Where's, where do you work, Reese? An undisclosed location. A shop. Not a shop. A shop that does everything for the community. Yes. What's their sl slogan? I don't know. Uh, oh, I'll give you a clue. See if you can guess where Reese works. It's mainly a shop, but they seem to have their finger in every single pie. Like, they have more than just shops. Probably the roguest one is the funeral care. Oh, well, that's and given it no, away. No, then they, then they open schools as well. You've given it away now. Well, they might still not guess. Anyway. Uh, we're actually... Go up, boys. Yeah, if you got it right, let us know. Um, that was for you, Kaz, the interactiveness. <laughs> yeah, my mum loves it if I ask questions in the vlog. <laughs> okay, guys, excuse the mess behind me, but I've had a real nightmare. If the 
lens is a bit foggy it's because the car's been out the camera's been out in the cold but basically at the christmas market today i get really bad eczema it's not too bad at the minute but i just had like a tiny dot of it there was a stall that sold eczema cream and they had free samples so i tried one and the woman said oh all I can say is try it now and I'll see you again in a few hours because she was like, it works so good, you'll definitely want to buy it. It's spread, it's it's now, it was a speck and now it's all over. So yeah, that was a bit of a too confident sales pitch, really. It's me and Reese's anniversary next week and my present is like homemade and it's taken a lot, a lot of time. And Reese has the whole next week off work. So I don't know when I'm meant to find time to like finish it because I still have, I'm probably halfway through it and I probably still need like two days worth of work but there's now no day where he's not in work, like he's going to be there 24-7. So that's a bit worrying, it's still so steamy. Yeah that's, uh, so then I was going to do it tonight because tonight is like my last chance to get some done and now I've forgotten a vital piece and I have to go to the range and buy it but the range is shut so I don't know when I'm going to get this present finished. One day I'm just going to have to be like can you spend the day at your house because I can't have this. I've just realised my vlog camera is broken. Now that is, <laughs> this is a very good camera so I'm very sad. Um, it, it works, it's one of the screws. I have the G7X so the, the viewfinder pops up and one of the screws in that has come off so it, for a while I've noticed the camera is a bit flimsy. I wasn't sure why but I've just had a look and there's a screw missing. So at some point in the next few days I need to go to a camera shop because <laughs> Like, at the minute it's fixable, but if the viewfinder falls off completely, then <laughs> we have a bit of a problem. So, just need to be more gentle, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can get that fixed. And <laughs> Is it going to cost money for someone to put two tiny screws in? I'm not sure. Okay, I've been editing, but now I need to go pick up Reese, and I think I'm going to be late. And when I was growing up, my family is awful with time, and they're late for everything. So, like, someone being late picking me up, don't even question it. Reese's family are always early. I feel like even if I'm a minute late, he'll never have experienced this before. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be late because I follow my family trends and I'm already late. That's fun for him, fun for me. When I got back from Cambodia, I'd been away for two weeks. I'd been to Europe and stuff, but like going away to Cambodia by myself, like not with school or anything, that's like a big step. My parents were like two hours late picking me up from the airport when I got back, like be a bit excited. No, 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 we're two hours late. Also, that story was not a one-off. In school, the, um, I used to get them bus most of the time, but like if I had orchestra or something, my mum would have to pick me up. Orchestra would finish at four, it would be dark, my mum would come pick me up at like six o'clock, and then she'd always complain that I was like, um, I'm frozen because our school wouldn't let you wait inside. And I would be like, mother, I'm frozen. And she'd be like, Stop complaining! Oh. I actually made it on time, which is an absolute miracle. Just encountered a very dangerous driver that I was making a left turn, no right, right turn, turn, not even like that slow, like it's into a car park, so like obviously not super fast. And someone just overtook me whilst I was turning, which is like undercut anyway. So dangerous. So dangerous. Anyway, we're at McDonald's because I ate tea with my family before, but Reese has been at work, so we're gonna get him some food. <laughs> Give us a model look. Only close at 11. Model. Reese is trying the festive crispy chicken burger, which has cranberry sauce and sage and onion mayo. Can you do it? Here it is. You want a review? Mm. Yes. Reese loves food reviews. Nice. It's basically a chicken select with cheese and bacon and a little bit of sauce on it. Chicken select is Burger King, isn't it? Oh, is it nice though? What do you think of the, f have you got to the cranberry sauce? Did you taste the cranberries? Mm -hmm. What did you think of the festive flavors? Festive and not as festive as it could be. What would you rate it out of 10? Six. Oh, okay. It's advent calendar time. Woo! Get over here. The sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. Seventh? Yeah, and then just the sixth. Wow. It's a big one. It's a bunting. Bunting! And then number seven, we have a little owl. Number eight, we have a, no, a deer. And number nine, we have a bauble. Mm. So let's find 
The bunting should be easy to find next. Six there. There? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. No, he's not. No? No, now he is. For you, number eight. Number eight, he's going to be on the ground. Maybe down there somewhere. Eight here. And number nine. Is that number nine? No, that's not got a number. It does. Ooh. One, two. Number six should go like this. Ah, that makes sense. And this is our little house. Good. Okay, so at the Christmas market today, we picked up brownies from the Gourmet Brownie Company that were gluten free, and we thought we would taste test them on the vlog. Well, we could tell with the first one, couldn't we? Yeah, they were gluten free. The first one, we actually already tried one, which was. You've seen us try one. Did we film it? Yes. Oh, we did film it. Okay. First one we have is Cherry Bakewell. Cherry Bakewell. You want that one? Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's better. Mmm. That's very nice. And it's got a really nice almond taste in the mm. background as well. That's very nice. Eight out of ten. Eight out of mm, seven. It's a bit claggy. We have peanut butter and Nutella. I make a peanut butter and jam brownie. Cheers. This is, this is what it looks like, everyone. Yeah. It probably won't focus. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, have them. Delicious. That's nine out of ten, that one. Mm. I wouldn't say there's much Nutella in it. I can't mm. really get it. Mm -hmm. It's a bit I too agree. peanut buttery for a peanut mm. butter and a tell. But I don't I mind. love it. <laughs> Not pistachio. pistachio. Is it? White chocolate and pistachio. Mm, smells lovely. Smell that. Ooh, that's... Pistachio is like my favourite ice cream flavour mm -hmm. and macaroon flavour. So hopefully this is going to be nice. Cheers, big ears. Cheers. That was me. I like it, but I have a feeling you won't. No, I like that. Do you? Nice, nice pistachio flavour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven for that one again. Mm, yeah, I'll probably give it an eight. Mm. It tastes a bit like... Um, mm. Yeah, the aftertaste is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, the aftertaste is... So how would you rate them overall? Actually, I I would... The pistachio, I... The after, it's really let down by the aftertaste. <laughs> the aftertaste is very artificial. You know those... Fake cigarettes. The, oh yes. That's the aftertaste. Not a vape, like them ones you used to get <laughs> with a Spider-Man fake tattoo. Yeah, a vape. <laughs> the, what were they called? Chalk sticks or something? Mm, something that like that. Of, anyway, it's that sort of flavour. I would rate it based on taste of the brownie when it's mm. in your mouth. Cherry bakewell first, pistachio second. Oh no, I would put peanut butter no, over, peanut pistachio butter over pistachio because the day. aftertaste of pistachio was. Yeah. I think peanut butter's number one. For me, then cherry bakewell, pistachio, then. Maybe I gave peanut butter a higher score than cherry bakewell. I think you did. Okay, peanut butter's first for me yeah. then. But it is just like eating a top of peanut butter. Cherry bakewell brownie is a bit more unique. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. anyone can do a peanut butter. True. So that's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. No, what's the vlogmas message? Subscribe so we can reach our. 1300 subscriber Woo! goal. Subscribe because we're trying to reach 1300 subscribers by Christmas. I like how you say we now, like I'm part of the channel. You're not. You're not. He thinks the we is me and him, but it's actually me and you. Like me and the subscribers because I actually say me, we every year. So yeah, that's a little bit awkward. Merry Vlogmas. <laughs>